we are live hey guys welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel in case you're new here my name is dim wango and kindly consider subscribing and join the best family on youtube we do live streams every day as from 8 p.m is african time and so feel free to subscribe and join the best family on youtube and also ensure you catch up with us every day as from 8 p.m is african time so guys let me get to know where you're watching from i can really see one like there thank you so so much let me get to know where you're watching from let me get to know how you've been how's been the day so far let me get to know So guys, for me, my day has been well. I can't really complain. I don't know what about you. Thank you so much for those who are joining the live stream. In case you're new here, kindly consider subscribing and join the best family on YouTube. And as we always do, kindly consider smashing the like button. Just give that video a like, man. Support me as you always do. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning to you, John Taylor. Thank you so much for coming. Have you been, have you woken up well? Let me get to know. And guys, before anything else, before anything else, consider smashing the like button. Give the video a like, as we always do. And if it's your first time here, can you consider subscribing? And join the best family on YouTube. Let me get to know where you're watching from and what's the time where you are right now. Like for, for me here, it's 8.08 p.m. Ryan Davis says hello beautiful hello how are you Ryan hope you've been doing well let me get to know where you're watching from and guys if it's your first time to come across this channel my name is Dean Wango and kindly consider subscribing join the best family on YouTube and also smash that like button as we always do and we always have live streams when things are okay when I don't have blackouts like we usually go live every day 8 p.m is African time so feel free to join the family and let me get to know where you're watching from let me get to know where you're watching from and also smash the like button what's the time where you are for me right now it's 8 0 9 pm what about where you are right now let me get to know where you're watching from and how have you been guys i'm glad we are here today you know every day life is a gift and when we make it at least to see another day we just have to be grateful to be grateful and rejoice in it watching from fort london watching from florida it's one in the afternoon oh my god that's so beautiful so it's one right now wow and for us here it's 8:09 p.m you can imagine the time difference but anyway, we appreciate all in all. Thank you so, so much. In case you're new here, consider subscribing, please, guys. And let me get to know where you're watching from before we start the topics live, today's live streams topic. Let me get to know where you're watching from. And I really, really appreciate. It's cold right here. Today it's a cold day. In Nairobi, nights are very cold. Not like during the day. During the day, it's very, very, very hot. Not really hot, but it's hot during the day, but in the evening it's cold. Thank you guys for always coming back to support me. I really, really appreciate. Let me get to know where you're watching from and consider subscribing if you haven't. And also smash the like button. So guys, on today's live stream, we are going to talk about how to survive a heartbreak. I know all of us in one way or the other, we've at least underwent through this. and in one way we felt you know this is how we felt all of us you know because i believe we are all of us grown-ups and in one point you've been in a relationship you know it can be dating or just a friendship with a person and at times it doesn't obviously end well and so let me get to know how was the experience how did you feel how did you survive how did you get to come out of that whole thing how did it go down for you so let me get to know yeah, Faith Mutune, Lord Mefika D from Masaku. Thank you so much, Faith, for coming. I really, really appreciate your support. Consider giving the video a like, and I really, really appreciate. Thank you so, so much, Faith. 
Aha, uh-huh, John Trailwad is saying I'm just chilling. It's 10 10 in Las Vegas. Oh, the time difference is just amazing. You just have to be grateful in everything. So, guys, you can follow me on Instagram. For those who are not following me on Instagram, my link is right there. Just click on it, go follow me, then come back to the live stream, and I'll really appreciate. Also, my Facebook link is there just ensure you follow me on those two pages so that we can also become friends you know apart from youtube ensure you follow me on instagram on facebook and everything will be okay thank you so much guys for the love i really 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 appreciate and consider giving the video a like man if you haven't smashed the like button kindly consider giving the video a like it's a way to show support you know and it's a good thing and it just takes a second you know, even less a second. So can you consider giving the video a like? And I really, really appreciate. For those who are joining, kindly guys, consider giving the video a like. Kindly smash the like button. And if it's your very first time to come across this channel, kindly consider subscribing. And join the best family on YouTube. We usually have live streams almost every day when things are okay on my side. So don't miss out. And you can do you can do that by subscribing, turning on the notification button so that you can be notified whenever a new video is up or whenever we are we are live. So that is it, guys. So on today's live stream, we wanna talk about how to survive a how to survive a breakup. You know, a breakup is that moment when you are no longer having that relationship with the person that you really really cared a lot. Maybe you are. You know, you are related in one way or the other, maybe you are dating or something. And when the relationship is no longer there, that's when we say, you people have broken up. You know, I don't know if that's the correct definition of a breakup, but I, I guess I've, I've tried my best to explain it. And I'm pretty sure all of us know what a breakup is. So guys, today we want to talk about it. And uh, so how can somebody survive a breakup while dating? Like, what do you think? So start by giving a comment. Let me get to know what are the possible ways that you really think somebody can survive a heartbreak. Like, you know, what are some of the ways which somebody can get out of a heartbreak successively, you know? So let me get to know. But as for me, this is what I'll say. Number one, for you to survive a heartbreak, you just have to, you know, number one, know your place in, know your place in somebody's heart. Like, get to know your position. This person, as far as we are dating or as far as we are friends, what are the boundaries? What what is my my space in that person? When you get to understand that, I think everything will be okay for you because if you tend not to understand your position in somebody's heart, that's why you end up being really hurt so bad. You know, the I do believe there are there what there are degrees or there are levels in which people get hurt. But if you get to understand your position in somebody's heart or in somebody's life, you wanna stand on a better position on how to deal with such things so when you get to know that you'll know how to you know how to relate with that person you'll get to know the boundaries and so during a breakup i think that will also help you because when you know you are placed in somebody's heart you won't do those things that are uh, when you are no longer together you'll really end up regretting you see that's what i really mean so it's better you know you get to know your position in somebody's heart so that you can play as per your position if you are a girlfriend just behave as a girlfriend don't you know be a wife to a boyfriend such a thing or if you're a boyfriend don't be a husband to a girlfriend just get to know your position and maintain it you know and know how to deal with it so that you, you cannot, you know, you may end up not being so disappointed when this thing called a breakup comes. Yeah, so I think that's one of the ways in which somebody can survive a breakup, even in the normal life, like get to know as far as this person is my friend, but what are the limits? What are the boundaries? What can I do? You know? Yeah, thank you so much, Faith Mutune. Thank you, thank you, mommy. So for me, I think that's very, 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 very important when you get to know you know, your space in somebody. And it will also help you to behave yourself, you know. Like, for example, you are a girlfriend and you are having this boyfriend of yours. You'll get to know, you know, how to deal with him. Like, don't go to an extra mile of doing things that are not supposed to do to him. So for me, I think that is really, really, really key. And let me get to know some of the other ways that you feel. 
somebody can survive a heartbreak. And for me, another way that I, I strongly feel somebody can, you know, use so as to survive a heartbreak, uh -huh. Samuel Ocheng is saying, representing from the lockdown series. Nice. Thank you so much, Ocheng, for joining. Samuel Ocheng, thank you so, so, so much. Oh, this is Sam. Oh, wow. I didn't know you were Ocheng. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, Sam, today we're talking about ways to survive a, a heartbreak. Like, what are the possible ways do you think one can, can use in order to survive a heartbreak? So, I've already talked about number one like you you just have to know your position in somebody's heart and for those who are joining some kindly co consider giving the video a like just smash that like button you know and stay with us let's get to enjoy this live stream together so number two that i think somebody just have to know in order to survive a heartbreak is by is by doing what you know guys i'm not reading from anywhere i'm just you know i just read i just not reading i just download from my mind so it takes me time at least to remember some of the things so, so another way in which somebody can you know can survive a heartbreak is by understanding your emotions like you know how to deal with yourself when you are excited when you are when you are mad or when you are annoyed such things like when you get to know how to deal with your emotions it will be a good thing for instance you've broken up with this boyfriend of yours what's your reaction are you that kind of a person who really goes crazy you can even decide to do some crazy things that people cannot even imagine or you're kind of a person who will just be chill and and take things the way they are like you know how do you really deal with your emotions more so when you are really mad at somebody when you you know when you are not at peace with somebody like how do you deal with yourself so that's a i think it's a key point like get to know how to deal with yourself in different situations like emotionally how do you how do you take things you know are you that person who really you know you just explode once and you end up doing that you know those type of uh, crazy things or how do you really handle such things in your life so for me, I think we just have to understand ourselves, you know, and we don't have to overreact on things. You know, you, you, you like reacting like uh, how sodium and water reacts. You know, that's one thing that I cannot really forget. Like sodium and water really react so fast, you know, and the reaction is really like, you know, very vigorous. So we don't have to be like that. Just take things simple, like, you know, get to know, like this has happened. So what next? What am I supposed to do? So you should not end up crying in your bed, you know, like for ladies, we really like crying, you cry, you don't eat, you don't attend your lectures or you don't go to work, you don't do anything, you become emotionally unstable, which is not a good thing. So just get to know how to deal with your emotions, more so when you're mad, just get to know how to deal with it. And I think the best way on how to deal with such things is when you find yourself in such a situation, I think the best thing is to calm, you know, but that times crying really helps because when you cry, you get that pain out of you. And afterwards, you find that you relieve. Yeah, it, it also works at some point, more so for me. Like when you just cry out, you know, that pain gets out of you. Instead of just keeping it, you really feel, you know, your heart is very heavy and you feel so bad. So, so it's good at times to cry just to let out the, to let out the pain. Then sharing is also key when you are really you know disappointed you really feel down you can also talk to your friends they can help in one or the other you know and sharing is you know sharing is caring when you talk that bitterness comes out of you at least you get to share it with people so sharing is key so don't keep it to yourself when you really feel you're very down you you know at least find that one person we can talk to if you don't have a good friend maybe you can even talk to your mom you know for us ladies we really feel mothers you know they're always there for us so maybe you can give your mom a call you can tell her what has happened or that friend of yours that you really trust rather than keeping it to yourself you know some of us you know it said we die every day, you know, and it's not good. And more so dying emotionally, it's not a good thing because, you know, you don't find any reason to smile. You're just not happy about everything because of this one, you know, this gentleman who has done a lot of, you know, crazy things to you. So it's better you get, you get to share it with people and also, you know, get to know how to deal with it for you to at least survive, you know, because the heartbreak is one of those 
bad moments that we don't even wish in our lives but as human beings we just have to be ready for it it doesn't have to be necessarily a heartbreak a relationship heartbreak there are also disappointments in life that you really felt maybe you wanted something and you end up missing it you end up feeling so bad you feel like it's the end of the world you know those moments are always there in life but what really matters is how you know you wake up start up again like you know the energy that you have to start over again that's what really determines so we don't have to keep it so much to ourselves and we should be those kind of people who you know let situations be the way they are don't really force things if something is not working it's not working don't just die in it and for me i strongly believe this thing that uh, you know what was meant to be yours will forever be yours it will wait for you no matter the time and you know, if you're not meant to be, you're again not, never meant to be. So don't try to force things. And for me, I strongly feel things that you try to force, they end up not working the way you expected. This is because you are forcing. So it's better don't force things. Just let things flow the normal way that they feel they should flow on your side. So don't be that kind of a person who you really force things like, yeah, you really force them to work the way you want. Yeah, so, uh -huh. Samuel Ochen is saying the only way to get over a breakup is by smashing someone else. Works, huh? works every time. <laughs> I don't get what he's, he means. I think he means when you have a breakup, you get to another person immediately. But for me, that's not always a solution. Also, when it comes to love issues, like, it's never a solution, like, to move really so fast at least get to reflect you know get to decide give yourself time you know get to know what you really want in a person and also try to be careful in it so that next time it doesn't happen the way it happened last time so yeah it's i think it's also a good idea what about you guys what do you really think what are some of the possible ways in which you can survive a breakup let me get to know what are some of the possible ways that you think somebody can survive a breakup. Let me get to know. And another thing that I feel really helps during a breakup is, you know, it's never that serious. That, like, don't take things very serious. Like, they hold your future. Like, you know, it doesn't always sound well. Julia, thank you so much for coming. He says hello from... Uh, brazil thank you so so much julio for always supporting me i really feel so humbled and kindly consider smashing the like button just give the video a like and let me get to know what do you think about a heartbreak like for you what are some of the possible ways in which you can get out of it you know yeah let me get to know so guys i was saying you don't have to take everything serious like really really serious more so dating life like you know don't you know it still comes to back what i say don't force things you know if things are not working they're not working and so get to tell yourself this thing is not working for me so what should i do next rather than clinging on that thing so so much you end up being hurt you end up being disappointed you know it's not always a good thing erica hello how are you watching from nairobi thank you so much erica for always coming to support me i really really appreciate consider giving the video a like just smash the like button yeah and all shall be well and drop a comment let me get to know what are some of the possible ways in which you can survive a breakup so i was still in this point of not forcing things you know it's never that serious and for most people that it really happens so bad on them there are those who really take it very 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 serious you know like you are you're not yet a wife, like, but the way you're behaving, the way you, you tend to own this man, it's like you're already married. So when things don't work on your side, you really feel so bad. Some even end up committing, you know, crazy things, you know, and life just ends like that. So it's not always a good thing. Like, you know, it's never that serious. More so when it comes to dating, it's never a guarantee that you'll have to end up with that person you know maybe you are dating for the sake of experience maybe i'm saying maybe but it's never a guarantee that when you are dating a person you will finally end up together it's never a guarantee so don't take things so serious and always get to know your position in somebody's heart if you're a girlfriend just behave as a girlfriend don't behave as a wife 
to a boyfriend, you know. And when you're a boyfriend, don't behave as a husband to that girlfriend so that at least you don't feel so hurt, you know. Just get to know your position in this person. Like, you know, how are we related? How am I supposed to, you know, to do things so that when things don't work, you don't end up being disappointed. I really don't mean like uh, every relationship it doesn't work, but at least get to know your, you know, your position so that when you are when you graduate through something big or maybe being a wife or a husband, at least now there you can you know you can also behave as per your position in that person. So I always feel that's also key. Yeah, guys, let me get to know what you think. Like, what are some of the possible ways in which you can survive a breakup? Let me get to know. And guys, during a breakup, like, what's your preference? For example, you, you have been buying for one another gifts. And when you break up, like, what are you supposed to do? Are you supposed to throw the gifts away or burn them or return them to the person who bought for you after a breakup when you really feel now, I don't need this person in my circle or in my life? Like, what's the best thing to do? Are you supposed to burn those gifts, those things that remind you of the memories? Or, you know, for you, how do you really handle it? For me, I don't think if... Uh, for me, I can't really burn anything or return anything. For me, I'll just keep it, you know. After all, I just tell myself, it's not this gift, you know. For example, it's not this teddy bear that uh, made me to feel so bad. It's the person. So for me, I, I can't even burn even a single thing. You know, I'll just continue keeping it. Like for me, it's so simple. Like on my side, like when I let it go, I don't even care, you know. I, I will not even want to know if you're breathing or not. Like for me, when I say it's done, like, you know, it's just like that. And I I cannot throw anything whatsoever if it was a cloth that you bought that you bought for me i'll continue putting it on you know i'll even if it's teddy bears i still have them as before i won't even mind i won't throw anything or return anything to you like for me you know i can't even do that so yeah let me get to know what about you what do you prefer to do with the gift that you are bought during you know during the dating life so when things get bad and you end up breaking what do you do with the gifts with the things that i used to buy for you like you know let me get to know yeah so erika Tina is saying basic basically one should get a life out of your relationship get to hang out with friends and more so concentrating on your career or other things yeah it's better to concentrate on other things like you know don't keep on reminding yourself i used to date then this uh, this guy did abcd to me then we broke up like you keep on reminding yourself the old bad moments no it's it's even best for you to remind yourself the good moments like at least comfort yourself like after all you know he used to give me money for salon he used to do abcd for me so you don't have to to really regret so much and for me i always feel when you break up with a person it gives you a chance for you to meet a better person so you don't have to take it so negatively like you know you feel it's the end of the world you, you know so for me i really you know strongly feel that and when you feel like you can't really get it out of your mind you better do as uh, erica Oteno says you better go home with your friends get get yourself some work you know get yourself busy you know concentrate on the things that you think really matter rather than you know keeping on to remind yourself about your heartbreak and actually things you know it really depends on how strongly you get out of that thing you know just be that person who accepts situations the way they are if something is not working just tell yourself indeed this thing is not working and when you force things that's when they end up to come out so badly at the end of it so you know you better take things the way they are you know if that thing was not meant to be yours no matter how you force it it still won't be yours so you know just learn to take situations simple the way they are yeah so i think that's really 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 key another thing that i feel you know while dating don't you know don't commit yourself so much you know like as i said you are a girlfriend but you give this boy you know you 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 act as a wife to this boyfriend that's why i said like as a girlfriend just know your position as a girlfriend and play within it you know don't go an extra mile of being a wife because those are some of
of the scenarios which make you to feel so hard, so bad. For example, imagine you you forgot that you are a girlfriend and you ended up, for example, even being pregnant for this boyfriend. Then things end up that he no longer needs you, you know. He leaves you alone. So you'll end up being so frustrated, like you'll end up regretting cursing each and every day of your life, which is not a good thing. And some frustrations really end up so bad. You can find somebody so frustrated, she or she ends up not even eating, and things may turn up to, to be so bad. So it's better you know your position, like, you know, treat this person the way he's supposed to be treated. Like, get to know your boundaries. If he's a boyfriend, treat him as a boyfriend or as a husband. Likewise, if she's a girlfriend, just, you know, treat her as a girlfriend or as a husband, you know, for things to work out so well and to avoid disappointment. And in this life, we just have to be, you know, you just have to tell yourself, like, you know, we say every day hope and expect, okay, hope for the best, but expect the worst. You know, I think that's a good slogan. Like, always hope for the best, but also at the same way, expect the worst, like expect vice versa can also happen. So don't be over hopeful to a person because, you know, in, in, in life, at times we get up, we end up being disappointed. And when you're over hopeful about somebody, more so human beings, you know, things may end up not being so good on your side and just accept things, you know, if you feel you don't belong there, just, you know, get your shit out of there, you know, just get to get out of that thing don't forcibly force your, yourself there because you are the one who will end up being really hurt you know yeah so for those who are joining kindly consider giving the video a like just smash that like button and if it's your very first time here consider subscribing and join the best family on youtube so guys, let me get to know your opinion. Like, what do you think? Like, what are some of the possible ways in which somebody can, you know, can overcome a breakup? And on the other side, for example, if this boyfriend or this girlfriend of yours used to buy you some, some stuff, if you really feel those things make you remember the bad moments that you had, or you feel they always remind you of that person, you can as well do away with them, you know. You can decide to return them to the owner, you can decide to give them away to other people, you can decide to burn them, like, it will depend with you. If they, you think they have an attachment with you, as well, you can decide to do away with them. So it will really depend on you. But for me, I said, for me, I can't burn anything. I can't throw anything. Like for me, I don't care about those things. I care about that person who did that wrong thing to me. So as for you, you can do what you think really works best for you. So that's what I think. Uh-huh. Faith Mutune, welcome back. Welcome back to the live stream. So let me get to know what are some of the possible ways of, of managing a heartbreak. Like what are some of the possible ways that you can make yourself to get to forget about this ex-boyfriend or this ex-girlfriend. Like what are some of the possible ways? So we've talked about so many possible ways. So let me get to know some of your some of your tips that you think can help somebody come out of this shit and as i said and i'll continue repeating you know it's never that serious well, so while dating because it's not a guarantee because as you get in that relationship you always you know not always but you're not pretty sure if you want to end up together so don't be over you know overconfident or over expectative like you really expect so much out of this person you know things can decide not to work out if they were not to work out so it will really really depend with how you react and it's good to know your emotions like when these things happen how do you get out of that shit like you know how do you how what is the time that you spend to be strong again and move on with their life and for me i feel if something is not working just accept yes this thing is not working and find you know find a solution like if this person used not to bring happiness to your life like you know just accept this person was not meant meant to be for me and so it's time that i leave maybe wait a little bit and see if i'll get somebody better or something you know it's always not working like a hundred percent as per our expectations so it will really depend on how you as a person takes it which is very 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 important 
Yeah, what are some of the ways, guys? Can you drop a comment? Like, let me get to know what are some of the possible ways that you think somebody can get out of a heartbreak. Like, let's make this a live stream, you know, friendly. Like, let's get to exchange ideas. What are some of the possible ways that you think a person can get out of a, a heartbreak? Erica is saying you should constantly remind yourself that at the end of it all, you still have a future to work on. Exactly. That's really, really right. Yeah, you should constantly remind yourself that at the end of it all, you still have a future to work on. Yeah, don't don't be like, you know, now this is the end of the world. Like, I don't feel like living anymore. Like, you know, you're very, very, very negative. Just remind yourself, you know, you still have a future to live. You still have that chance to find somebody better in your life. You still have a lot to do. And you can, you know, this person you are not even born together with is just a total stranger who came to your life at some point. You never even knew each other. You didn't even dream of finding this person in, uh, in your life. So why do you have to, you know, feel like the world is ending? You end up being so stressed, you know, you end up committing those crazy things that we all of us know which is not a good thing just remind yourself you have a future you know you have a future to live this person you are not even born with so you don't have to care you know you don't have to give a damn if it's not working so what yeah it's not working so stand up you know wipe off the dust from you get to know you know get to survive again just remind yourself you have a future you have a life to live you have a right to love again if you again find that person so you know and also take it as a challenge like you know always find something positive in it don't be always looking at the negativity just tell yourself you know because it didn't work at least i've learned a b c d so in my next relationship at least i'll learn how to be cautious or I'll not do what I did to that person. So, you know, at least it will also give you some experience. And experience is the best teacher. You know, you better experience it by yourself rather than somebody else getting to tell you. So always find something positive out of it. Don't be always crying, cursing yourself, you know. Just smile, move on, you know. Yeah. But I know one of the hardest, and I, for me, I usually feel... One of the worst breakups for me, guys, you know, I'm not being judgmental or anything. I do feel as ladies, the worst mm, mm, breakup is when you break up with a guy who you, you have his child, you know. For me, I think that's, that can be the worst on my side because I think this child, at the same time, this child is a blessing, yes, but in one or the other, this child will be reminding you some of the memories, you know, you'll be getting to remember it's because of this man who did to me this ABCD and that's why I'm undergoing through this. So for me, I strongly feel like that's the worst that can happen in a relationship. And after all, it's still not the worst. You can, life will have to move on, you know. And this is one thing that has kept me alive ever in this life that I do feel even if I'm not there today, life will have to move on so you better you know love yourself cherish each and every moment in your in your life that you know don't be very you know negative about life you know if you if you're not there today just know people will just mourn for a few days then life will get back to normal so you better really care about yourself because you know even if you're not there life will still continue people will still be eating like you know people won't even remember you after one week or two weeks so you better love yourself cherish each and every moment you know at least be grateful of everything that happens in your life because for me i do i do feel we meet people with a reason and a, with a purpose maybe to learn something or you know at least there must be a reason for it and we all we all learn from our mistakes so yeah you don't have to tie yourself in it so much and it doesn't have to eat your head so much more so when it's a dating you know something to do with dating like you know you don't have to die in it if it's not working you just get to know it's not working like, you know don't force yourself there you know just pretending to be all right for us you're not really okay you know just be real just be you if something is not working just no, it's not working. And for me, I do feel like ladies, we should be so, so, so bright in this. Like when you feel something is not working, like for me, I prefer getting out of a relationship before this man gets to leave me. Like for me, I should leave first. So you should be able to know, is this 
thing really working on my side. If it's not, you better leave the first person before worse things happen. Like maybe you think this person, he has some signs to show you he no longer needs you. And for you, you are still there hanging on his neck. Like you just forcing yourself to be there. No, all you need to do is just, you know, take whatever is yours and leave. Don't wait to be left. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good advice, but for me, I strongly feel that like, you know, don't, don't wait until when things are so bad, when you're so heartbroken into pieces, that's when you leave. Like, leave in advance. When you just see signs and you strongly feel this is not going to work for me, you better leave the first person, you know, before it ends up to be so bad. So Erika is saying, you should also ignore social media for a while. Don't text comments of heartbreaks on social media platforms. Yeah, that's also very true because some of us really like that public, public love. Like, you know, in all your social media, you put your boyfriend or girlfriend there. Everybody gets to know that you people are really in love. And so when things are not working, you also go back to that platform of viewers and announce it to the world that it has not worked. You know, some people will just laugh at you because we all know not each and every person who smiles at you, they are really genuine. So if you're really publicly out there, you announcing your boyfriend or girlfriend publicly and when things don't happen the way you expected, it's not always a good thing to go and again re-announce it there because some people tend to laugh at you, some people will be happy in it, like you finally left each other. So for me, I think you don't have to be so public. Like some things you just have to keep to yourself. Not really yourself, but don't put it in social media. Like in your status, you're really abusing this person or, you know. So some people get to know, oh, these people are no longer together, which is not always a good feeling. Like, you know, keep low key, keep low profile. Let people try to find out, not you telling them what they should find out. At least make them busy, you know. Don't let everybody know what you're going through. So in such situation, like you don't have to. That's why in our previous live stream I said, don't show off, like don't brag like that uh, you're now dating this man or you're now dating this girl. Like, you know, don't show off because you never know, you know. Yeah, so that's, that's it. You can also let me get to know some of your your thoughts like what do you think what should somebody do to get out of that shit as we all know it's always not a good feeling but in you know in one way or the other it actually happens you know and also we have to learn on how to treat people as per who they are like if you know this person is not really good like even if he or she is your friend like get to know the boundaries this person i'll get to tell him this or i'll not tell him this because some of our friends contribute so much to our breakups maybe this person is eyeing that girlfriend or boyfriend of yours so he or she goes around telling him or her the way you are bad maybe he sees you hanging out with other men or women so they might you know be the source of your heartbreak so at times you just have to know the people that you get to share some things because because not all of us who tend to be friends to you are really genuine so just get to know who is who in your life like get to have boundaries and treat everybody as per what you feel they deserve that like don't give too much to a person who does, doesn't deserve even anything you know yeah i'm really talking a lot i don't have water with me i, I think i just have to find some uh, because we still have some time so for those who are joining this live stream for the first time, consider subscribing and also smash the like button, tap on the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I upload new videos. So let me get to know what are some of the ways in which you can survive a heartbreak as per you. For me, I've really talked a, a lot of things. So let me get to hear from you. What are some of the possible ways that you really think somebody can survive a heartbreak let me get to know and another thing that i strongly feel at times it helps is by you know just letting everything go you know like it still revolves around if you are not meant to be you are you know you are not meant to be don't really force things that you feel they're not working because you end up breaking 
yourself so much like you'll end up in pieces and don't give a person too much that he or she doesn't deserve just know how to play you know as per your you know your space don't really give a lot you know thank you so much erica for always commenting making this live stream lively i really appreciate erica thank you so 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 much yeah, she says personally after heartbreak i take good care of my body <laughs> i must look good for the next person you know lol <laughs> but this is true by the way and it really helps like most of all ladies when you are out of that heartbreak you know just keep yourself so well you know ensure you eat well ensure you are very strong ensure you really look good like you know don't behave like the world is ending so that the next person can you know just notice you easily even that if even if that's not the case but make that person who you left at least feel like you know regretting kinda like you know show him or her life can still continue even without you like you know you just have to be that strong girl keep yourself you know be smart always be cheerful you know and for me i always feel when you're having a breakup with somebody, for me, that's as for me, you don't have to delete his or her number. Why, why, why am I talking about that? Let this person get to know how you're really doing so good, you know? Let this person get to see how you are nowadays even more smart. You're nowadays even more caring about your body. Like, you, you're doing good without him. Let these people get to know. Like, for me, I can't unfriend even, I cannot unfriend them on my social media. Let them get to know I'm still doing good. I'm still kicking. I'm still alive. Like, you know, don't be that person after breakup. You feel like now the world has ended. You don't eat. You end up being very de devastated. Like, you know, you just, you're just there. You don't even care. You don't even mind. It gives energy for the other person to feel he really taught you like a lesson or something. So don't mind after breakup. Just ensure you keep your, yourself so well eat dress well be happy be jovial you know just be like normal as if nothing happened and let this person get to know after all life can still continue without you after all this is a person who you were never born together like you just met as strangers he was never in your life before so why should he act like you cannot continue with life even if he or she is not there like you just have to accept life the way it is and move forward, like focus, focus on the positive things. You know, don't be negative about yourself. Don't curse yourself. Don't hate yourself no matter what. Like, you know, keep going. You know, I love the, I love Martin Luther's saying where he says, if you cannot fly, run. If you cannot run, walk. If you cannot walk, crawl. By all means, keep moving like move 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 don't let yourself be there where this person left you you know keep on improving yourself to be a better person get to you know you have a future you know you have a life to live you still have a right to love you know like accept your mistakes even if they're not mistakes take them as a challenge take them as lessons learned so that they can help you in, in the future or in your next relationship so I always think, you know, let's always find a reason to find something positive that can at least put a smile on our, on our, on our face. Don't be always negative. Mm -hmm. Dennis or Marie, thank you so much for joining. Consider giving the video a like. If it's your very first time here, smash the like button and subscribe. Tap on the bell icon so that you can be notified whenever I upload new videos. Thank you so, so much, guys, for always supporting me. I really, really appreciate it. I feel humbled. You know, I feel loved, and that's one of the most amazing things. Like, when you feel loved, you have the energy, you know, and it's always a good thing. So let me get to know what are some of the ways in which you can survive a heartbreak? What are some of the possible ways that you can really, really survive, you know, out of a heartbreak? Like, you know, what should you do next? 
you know and for me i i strongly feel when you have broken up with a person there's no need of you going an extra mile of abusing this person or maybe threatening him or her in one or the other you know because most of us tend to now tell the other person's weakness when you now break up for example this guy can now decide to tell you how you're really ugly after a breakup so you end up like you know if you're not careful it can really get into you and it can really really take out your self-esteem you can no longer be you know the girl that you used to be so don't always take the negative things so serious and it's not always a good thing if you've broken up with somebody don't now expose his or her weaknesses don't tell her the negative things like also be glad in it you know most if you are the one who you are, you are on the wrong side or you did it intentionally then just be happy you know don't make the other person also to feel like very demeaned like he's or she is nobody because it's not always a good thing because some of us can take that things you know so serious and it can end up eating them so badly and it can at times take their self-esteem away they feel like they're nobody which is not even the case so it's not always good to exchange those harsh words during a, a breakup it's better even you delete the number or even block you block his contact so that you don't get tempted to exchange those harsh words because words really tend to you know to 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 hurt so much you know like words they really tend to hurt so much so it's better you just find a way to keep yourself out of that person like try to avoid the unnecessary conversations that really you feel they hurt you even more so always find a reason you know to smile always and tell yourself he or she has given me a better chance to find somebody who is even better you know so that life can really move on so well yeah let me get to know what you also think about let me get to know what are what is your idea like for you what do you really think just you know just a comment let's get to look into it and weigh is it helpful or what do you really really think yeah thank you so much guys for always coming to support me i really really appreciate i feel loved you know and i cannot get tired of saying thank you you really you people you mean a lot you, you mean the whole world to me you know you know you can't even understand this but for me i know what i really mean deep down in my heart i really appreciate and so if it's your first time here consider subscribing and smash the like button let me get to know what you think about today's topic like what are some of the possible ways of surviving a, a heartbreak like how can you really get out of it strongly yeah can you just mute about him or her you can just mute yeah you can just also mute you know just keep quiet assume like he never or she never existed like don't find a reason of you going back to text him or to call him or trying again to beg to be with that person and for me i feel like that's the worst like that's the worst thing like trying to beg a person to be with you you know in life we meet people with a reason and a purpose and for those who are meant to stay with you they will still stay no matter what that's why we find at a point you tend to have so many friends maybe when you have money or when the relationship is beneficial and when they find it's never it's not beneficial anymore they tend to leave so you should always you know find a reason to let those people go those who are not you know they were not meant to be with you or they were meant to come to your life at a, at a particular time they leave just be free to let them go you know don't try to beg somebody to be with you also when it comes to love issues like you know this person can really take advantage of you you know because now after breakup it's not even one week you're still calling him you call him while crying you're really begging him or her to be with you you know you don't have to do that you know after all this person you are not you know born together with you know he he came to your life as a stranger you know you didn't even know he will even exist in your life so why do you have to really beg this person to stay and he can take advantage of you and do even more worse things to you so always find a reason to be free like let those people who want to be with you be with you those who want to live let them go you know after all life has to continue no matter 
what you know no matter the situation even during during this hard season you know life is still going on man you know some people are leaving us some are, some we are still surviving we should of course be grateful like you just get to know no matter what life is still have to go on so don't go around crying cursing yourself like you feel the world is ending right you know at that time just get to know you have a future you have a life to live don't take everything so serious after all it's never serious and i believe if you have this slogan with you you know you'll, you'll get to live a better life when when it comes to things to do with love and issues but when it comes to serious issues like education it has to be serious but love issues with a person that you never even knew before, he was not even in your life before, you are not even born together with, you know, it's never that serious in such issues. Hmm. Erika is saying, let's just say relationships are, are unpredictable at times. Yeah, this is very, very, very true. You, you will not know, like, you know, we always meet people in a reason and a purpose and you cannot predict now this is my mr right or this is my mrs right you know it's not easy to know like it's not very easy unless you really a prophet or you just extraordinary that's when you'll get to predict but it's always unpredictable so don't commit yourself too much and i repeat if you're a girlfriend just you know, give the boyfriend the attention that he deserves you as a girlfriend. Don't give this boyfriend attention as a wife. Just treat him how he's supposed to be treated. Likewise to the guy, like, don't be a husband to this girlfriend. Just be a boyfriend. Like, get to know your position for things to work out. Yeah, so don't be over expecting. Like, you really expect too much from him. And he's just a boyfriend, you know, you already, you already see the two of you having children or already in marriage, it's good to have visions, but you know, you cannot always predict. And in many times, you know, it's not easy. Like you just date this one person and you end up together in life, like just one person in your life. At times it happens, but in most cases, it doesn't happen. Like, you know, that can only work like 3%. So 97% is just about trial and error, you know, and you just have to be ready to learn and take things in a more positive way the way they are supposed to be don't force yourself too much and let those people who want to be with you be with you just those who are not meant to be to be with you up to the end just let, let them go you know because those people i do feel they only want to be with you when it's beneficial when it's no longer beneficial they don't want to be with you so always feel free to let some people out of your life and some people in in your life and for me i always feel like the people you engage with they should at least build you in one or the other to become a better person so that even if such things happen, at least this person had a positive impact in your life in one way or the other, you know. And so at least it becomes as a, as a challenge, you know, you get to learn a lot from it. So always let those people who you want to be around with contribute to your life a positive way. Likewise to you, you should always, always know how to build other people, you know, help other people grow also emotionally, you know. Yeah, and that will be a good thing. Uh-huh. Then, okay, I did not finish to say this. Leave the moment. Yes, enjoy each and every bit of your life. Like, we only live once. We only have this one life to live. So when you're dating, just have fun in it. Enjoy, enjoy every every moment of your life because you never know you know sometimes it can be too late so just live once man if you love you just love once get to know you only have one life to live and also you have to be careful with, with your life because after all there's no any other life so we have to take everything you know with caution like get to be cautious at some point then Miss Omari says can you call the person or receive her call <laughs> For me to really, really, really depend, like, why do I feel like I should receive his call? So for me, it's different. But in most cases, when we've broken up, I don't see the need of, you know, him talking to me. Like, now what are we talking about? It's already done, you know. And at times I can just receive the call and let me get to hear what he says. 
because sometimes you can try to be apologetic so i can at first try to listen and if i feel whatever he's saying is not making sense you can as well decide to hang up the call you know after all he can do he cannot do anything with you he cannot force you to receive this call so it for me it will depend i can decide to listen if i feel he makes no sense i can hang up the call but it's not always a good idea like what are you talking again like you know for me i don't feel if there's sense in it yeah faye vicky faye vicky is saying after a breakup i would work out and have a, a very good figure and work on my skin too so that when the dude sees me again he regrets why he left me alafu he needs to feel jealous of my next guy yeah like that should be it like make yourself even more better than the way he left you like go work out have that you know have that flat tummy like be more beautiful like you know take good care of yourself so that this person can get to know he was not actually the person who used to control yourself like be a better person and also the next person who you should let in you know in your life let this person outdo the other person like let him feel indeed i lost you know it's always a good feeling like make somebody learn from his or her mistakes be a better person like you know if you are dating a degree holder now date a master's holder like you know get to improve yourself don't be like the same the way you are <laughs> yeah for me i think that's a good thing for you and it should be like that you know but most people end up to be very 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 hard they no longer care they just you know they don't care about themselves again that should not be the case eat well work out drink a lot of water have that good body shape have that good skin tone you know do some good makeup like stand out let like this person get to know indeed i really lost and the person who you let in your life next should outdo the other person you know if you are dating a degree holder now get to date a professor get to date a, a master's guy or something like you know be a better person so that you can also feel indeed even this girl was the one who was doing me a favor to date her like get to stand out again so if you can really agree with you yeah that's a good idea likewise to the men you know after breaking up with this girl find a more beautiful girl than her like you know get to improve yourself not let your ex to find you you are in the same 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 situation like make progress make progress not like to show off to him but at least it's good even in in the current life to always upgrade yourself you know don't do things the way you used to do them in the normal way at least get to improve yourself day by day that's what we call learning get to learn you know yeah so guys let me get to know what are some of your ideas like i've really talked a lot and today i'm not even having a glass of water so it tells me i'm getting used to talking now yeah so let me get to know some of your ideas before we end the live stream because it's close to one hour so i think yeah so what are some of the ways in which you can survive a heartbreak like you know what are some of the possible ways let me get to really 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 know and you guys have not answered about about what i asked John John Trey Ward what do you think about the gift that your previous boyfriend or girlfriend used to give you is it always a good idea to throw them to burn them or to return them to the person who bought them or to just keep it like for you what do you really think you can do with those things let me get to know guys for those who are still in the building let me get to know what's your opinion concerning that what do you feel should be done yeah and another way of surviving a heartbreak i think you know it's always you know be yourself you know even when getting in a relationship like get to know yourself like get to accept yourself don't try to give so much that you cannot even afford for instance you're a man you try to please this girlfriend of yours you go an extra mile of even having so much debts outside there just to take her for out yeah you just do things that are beyond your reach it's not always good like just be yourself why am i saying this because it will help you imagine you've been overstretching beyond what you can afford to make this girl happy or to make this man happy and when a, a 
a heartbreak comes, what will you do? Like, will you even be able to stand out of it? Like, you know, or you'll just end up being in pieces that cannot even be put together again. Like, just be you, always. Just be you. If things are not working, don't force them to work. Like, you'll, you'll end up being the person who really, really suffer a lot. So, always learn to be yourself. You know, let this person get to know this is the type, you know, of the person that I really have. Yeah. Faye Vicky is saying, me, I'd keep them as a souvenir. <laughs> I'd say you're really, really funny. I didn't know this. For me, I'll keep them as a souvenir. At least that guy was once my happiness. Yeah, it's always a good thing. Like for me, as I said, I cannot even throw anything. If anything, I cannot, you know. If they're the clothes, for me, I'll still continue put, putting them on. I won't even care, you know. Yeah, it's not always good to throw the things or return them. Just keep them, you know. Because at one point, this person really meant a lot in your life. Like, there was a point when you felt you could not do without this person. So why now throw them away or burn them? You know, just keep them for memory purposes. Like, it's not always a bad thing, you know. At least they'll get to, rem to remind you some of the good memories that you had together. Sometimes they'll be giving you some of the lessons that you learned. Maybe when looking at them, you'll get to remember, you know, I did this and this was what it came out. So, yeah, there's no need of throwing them away. Uh-huh. Why throw them? That's my... <laughs> Erika, you're really breaking my ribs. Like, why throw them? That's my retirement benefit. Oh, my God, I didn't see this coming. <laughs> Erika, you're really funny. You're really very, very, very funny. That's why your retirement benefit. Of course they are. <laughs> But I didn't know you could give them such a such a big name, you know, retirement benefits, you know. You know, after all, you just have to make each and every time in your life count. Like, you know, make good of use, make good use of this boyfriend, you know, so that you don't have to regret even after a breakup. At least tell yourself, hmm, after all, I also benefited in one way or the other. So you don't have to throw the you don't have to throw the things as Erika Otiero says those are your retirement benefits. So no need of throwing them away. Yeah, which is also a good thing. You know, they, they will be reminding you some of the things that, you know, some of the good moments that you had together. Yeah, and they can also be like a souvenir to you just for you to remember the moments. But Erika just nailed it. Those, were, those are <laughs> my retirement benefits. Yeah, you know, retired and those gifts that I used to give you, they are at least meant to cheer you up. Yeah, which is a good thing. Yeah, because who will not like to have some of the retirement benefits? You know, who? Like, no one. So, yeah, no, I'll find a reason as to why. You should always keep those things. And what about you guys? For those who are watching and have not reacted on this, should you throw away the things that you are bought by your boyfriend or ex-husband or ex-wife? Like, what should you do with them? Keep them? Throw them or return them? Like, let me get to know what's, what's your perspective towards that. You know, Erica said, uh, you know, there's no need of throwing them away because those are your retirement benefits. <laughs> I strongly agree with her. Yeah. You guys are really fine. You're really making my day today. Erika, thank you so much for always contributing. Thank you so, so much. Faye Vicky, thank you so much, guys. Thank you guys for always supporting me, always coming to watch me. You know, I really, really appreciate. So let me get to know what are some of the possible ways in which you can survive a heartbreak. And for me, I feel the worst heartbreak is a relationship which you didn't really even enjoy. You know, but if you enjoy each and every bit of life in your relationship, you'll not have too much to regret or complain. At least you'll be telling yourself, at least I used to enjoy men. If it's money he used to give me, I used to make good use of his money, or I used to make good use of his time, or, you know, at least get to benefit in one or the other. And that's why I said, 
the people that you would like to in your life should at least add value to you. If you see this person is not adding any value to you, like, you know, you better let him or her go. Because the goal of this life is being a better person each and every day when you wake up. Yeah. So it's always a good thing. And make good use of every moment because we only live once. Imagine you're dating this person who really have a lot of resources that you can really utilize. You know, maybe he's a genius when it comes to academic work and you're not making good use of him, maybe revising with him so that you pass your exam so well. Like, you know, make use of the resources around you, you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. Erika Tiena is saying, I'll even ask for credit if it's even possible. <laughs> yeah, Erika is trying to say, make each and every moment in your life count. Like, you know, and for me, this is all, this is, I, this is what I always feel like. When you see that, there are now signs of you leaving each other or a breakup is coming like you now have to make each and every time count you know if this guy used to give you like ten dollars for your salon make sure he gives even up to you know fifty dollars if possible like make good use of your time like so that when you're no longer in it you don't have to regret like for me i strongly feel that so if it's credit as erika is saying just ask for it you know when the, the the moment still lasts like make good use of your your time in a relationship like make each and every time count in your life so that you don't have to regret like in a positive way that's what i i mean like in a positive way you know don't make yourself you know like you think you're helping yourself but in real sense you are not so make good use of each and every opportunity in your life like utilize the resources around you so that you don't have to regret for example you're being taken to a hotel you know those classy hotels you're being told to order for food and you're like no i'm i'm okay i don't feel like eating no, make good use of your moment and deep down your heart you're really hungry maybe you've not even eaten for the last two days and you're there pretending to be all right you know you end up regretting so make each and every moment in your life count like for me i never let some some opportunities pass me even if i don't feel like eating for me i'll even ask for a takeaway after all you know just make good use of each and every opportunity in your life you know but in a positive way in a positive way that's what i mean hmm says saying what if the person uh-huh what if the person who gave you the gift tells you to return example phone tv etc say for me i'll not return as erica says said those are my retirement benefits like why is he asking me to return i'll also ask him to return the things which i know he cannot even return to me you know i'll tell him now return for me my time that i used to spend with you how will he manage so for me i will not even return the gifts that he used to buy for me like i'll tell him i did not force you to buy why did you force them why did you force yourself to buy those things that you're now demanding and if i see he's really really insisting for me, I can go an extra mile of even, you know, even even sell them. I can sell them and eat the money, you know, on a light note, you know. But for me, I don't think if I can return, even if he, he demands, like, return, return, I need my TV back. I need my phone back. Like, for me, I don't think if I'll give him, you know, like, why? Why? Those are my retirement benefits. Why should I give them to you? Did I force you? You know, did I really force you to buy them? For me, you know, unless if it goes an extra mile to come with the police to where I'm staying so that they can take them. But before that, I'll make sure I, I convert them to something which you cannot come and take away. Because it's not always a good thing. Because also you, in one way or the other, this person benefited from you. And why is he now demanding the things that he bought to you? And it's not even a good thing. Like for me, I don't even if think i can even return like that's for me i cannot like i cannot those are my retirement benefits i cannot i cannot you know and let me just leave at that point there is somebody saying why keep them you keep them because those are your retirement benefits lol <laughs> but anyway it again depends you know if you don't feel comfortable having them you can as well return but for me i'll 
I'll be even better having them, you know, rather than when he comes and takes them away. So it will really depend with the person. If you feel you have to give them back to the owner, you just do as how your heart tells you to do. But for me, I will keep them, even keep them for the longest time, even even forever, even if possible. Mm -hmm. Erika Atena is saying, says Feviki, make this habit of writing your name on receipts when someone buys you things. <laughs> Especially these electronic devices. Ngubia huku tisha atatoa wapi kweli. Oh my God. So Erika is saying that uh, when a person is buying you gifts, and I think that's, that, that's it. Like, why are you buying me a phone? And on the receipt, you write your name. Like, you don't really mean if you really want that thing to be mine. So when you're buying somebody a gift, and at least write the person's name on those receipts. Like, let those things be really hers. If you don't feel like buying, of course, I know she has she 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 will not be forcing you. Don't do it. But if you feel you have to give this girlfriend of yours an iPhone or a TV or a what, get to write her names, you know. And this is also a tip that Erika has given me, which is a good thing, you know. Yeah, it's good to be to think ahead. Yeah, but for me, I would. I don't think if I'll really accept, like you buy me something and you still write your name on the receipt or on the evidence to show it's mine, I will not even end up taking it because how does it really show it's mine? Like, you know, when you buy some, something to somebody, let it, let that thing belong to her fully, you know, yeah. Thank you so much guys for always 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 coming to support me and making this live stream so lively like i i've really really enjoyed thank you so so much and for those who are joining for the first time consider subscribing and also smash the like button tap on the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever i upload new content or new videos so let me get to know what are some of the ways in which you can survive a heartbreak like you've really talked a lot of things so let me get to know what are some of the possible ways that you think somebody can get out of a relationship yeah Mm -hmm. I think I've exhausted all the comments. I think so. If you have a compliment or if you, you feel you have something to say, just say it before we end the live stream because it's almost time. Not yet, but almost. Let me get to know. Aha, uh -huh, Faye Vicky is concurring with the, whatever Erika said. Yeah, that's, that's very, 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 very true. Yeah. So guys, thank you so much for always coming to support me. I really, really appreciate guys. Thank you so, so much. You know, may you never, ever lack, you know. Thank you so much, guys. May you never lack in your life, in your endeavors. May you stay blessed forever, forever. Yeah, I think I've, exa I've exhausted all the comments. Yeah, so let me get to know what you really think about. What are some of the possible ways to survive a heartbreak? Yeah, and as I said, it should not be very, very, very public. At least learn to keep some things low-key, like keep low profile. Don't let everybody know what's going in your life, you know. Because when you keep it private, maybe after this breakup, maybe there was somebody who was really eyeing on you. But when you make it very public, he'll get to know that maybe you are in a relationship. And... Uh-huh, title a video. Okay, I'll check on that, Faye. I'll check on that. At least I can, you know, I can edit. I can, yeah, I'll check on that. Thank you for reminding me. Thank you so, so, so much. Yeah. Let me get to know where you're watching from. If you have a compliment or if you have something to say, you can as well. Yeah, feel free. Feel free. Let's make this live stream more of a, an interactive session yeah <laughs> yeah 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 uh -huh. what do you use for your face your face is flawless oh thank you so 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 much for me I just ensure i just wash it every day like i cannot sleep without washing my face 
then I don't apply makeup like every time even when I'm not going anywhere so yeah and also drinking a lot of water helps you can also do some skincare routine on your face you know like using those natural things like aloe vera and stuff by like scrubbing yourself but for me I really thank God about it because I only wash it like when I'm in the house not going anywhere I just wash and just stay like that you know and for me it really helps and I don't do heavy makeup like for me I just use some powder or any or something and I'm good to go yeah so thank you so so much Fabian Traveler is watching from Tanzania thank you so much I really miss Tanzania I really miss it a lot and it's a good place to visit after this pandemic I think I'll be back there thank you so much Fabian thank you so much Sharon one is in the building. Thank you so so much. I love the hood. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much guys. Thank you for the support. I really feel so loved. Yeah, guys, what are some of the what are some of the things that you can really apply in your life so as to get out of a breakup like to move on well. And for me I always feel after a breakup like give yourself some time like get to chill get to give yourself some energy get to not really renovate like keep your keep yourself so well as face said go to the gym work out have those good body goals like you know be that person who is really standing out so that you can you know we can make the way clear for the other person to come to your life because you know it's not always a good thing to be single for so long just because in the name of a breakup you know so just take good care of yourself you know put on so nicely like do all you can you know to keep yourself good mm -hmm. albanocha is saying hi miss kenya hi thank you so much albanocha for always supporting me i really feel humble thank you so much and before anything, just smash the like button, give the video a like, and I'll appreciate, guys. Yeah, Denis Amari is saying I'm new here and very impressed. Thank you so much, Denis Amari. Feel welcome and grow with us. Like, you know, ensure you subscribe for more videos. And, you know, don't be left out. Every day we do live streams at 8. You know, we get to interact, share. So ensure you don't miss out any single day. Aha, I really like your channel, Albanosha. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys, for the love. I really appreciate. Thank you so much, guys. I really, really, really appreciate and feel humbled. So we were talking about the gifts that uh, you receive during the dating life. So when things don't work out, now this is when a breakup comes. Like, what should you do with the gifts? Throw them away? Return them to the owner or just keep them? You know, we are still reacting on that. What's your take on that? You know, a few people here have said, you know, just keep them as a souvenir. You can as well as, you know, keep them as your retirement benefits or something. You know, it's, it all depends with you, the way your heart tells you to do. But for me, honestly, even if it's a hood like this, I'll continue putting it on. I won't even care. I won't even give a damn. You know, after all, it's not all about the gift that made me feel sad. It's the person. So these things don't even breathe. They don't even know what's happening between us. So for me, I really strongly support keep the things make them as a souvenir after all they are your retirement benefits as one of us said which is also a good thing so what about you guys the other people who are watching like what do you think what's your take as per that fabian traveler is saying i was never hurt i i was never heartbroken because i was never I have never been in a serious relationship. Oh yeah, it it also works. If you don't have, if you don't want to be heartbroken, you can as well decide to stay single. Like you know, when you're single, now who will hurt you? You know, even if you're being hurt, it won't be you know at the extent as to which a person who is in love will be hurt afterwards when it's now a breakup. So it really depends. So African Fabian traveler, yeah, that's a good choice for you. I love your braids. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate you. know, nowadays we are indoors, so I just feel I have to be simple, have something which will keep me, you know, at least during this period because no going out, just indoors. 
Yeah, so guys, I really, really, really appreciate Faibiki is saying, what about those people who drink carelessly after they break up? <laughs> See, for me, this is what I can say. It depends, you know. And, uh, that, yeah, that's why I said it depends with how we deal with our emotions. Like, maybe somebody finds pleasure in drinking so much during a heartbreak just to help him or her forget about the moments, like, not to even remember he or she is in a breakup so it will depend but for me i don't think if it's a good way like make yourself sober like get to know this has happened so for me don't support if you have to go and drink but if that helps you on your side it's all right but for me i rather stay sober for me to figure out things the way they're supposed to be like for me to get to make new decisions while sober because i really believe you cannot make good decisions when you are sober like when you are sober you are able to think you are able to figure out things you are able to make good decisions so yeah for me it's not a good thing but most people more so in campus when they having stress or when they're having a breakup they tend to drink so much even every day you know and you know after all it's a disservice to you you know imagine drinking every day because i believe when you are drinking you won't be sober and even going to class or going to work it will not be possible so don't do a disservice to yourself but if you think it helps you can as well do it but don't always do a disservice to yourself just in the name of a breakup because the other person no longer cares if it's the boyfriend no longer cares about the girlfriend anymore so don't hurt yourself you know don't uh don't go drink carelessly because some things can end up happening to you that were not supposed to happen so just take good care of yourself more so during a breakup as we said have those good body goals you know take good care of yourself dress nicely upgrade to another person who will get into your life let that person be of another level who is who should be way better you know yeah mm -hmm. Uh, don't tell what he's saying. I like to eat a lot of ice cream and chocolate. Sit on the couch when I break up in a relationship. <laughs> yeah, that actually works. Like for me, I think now that's the way to go about it. If you are having a lot of stress, more so to, to do things to do with heartbreaks, like find yourself your favorite meals. If it's chocolate, if it's rice, if it's a lot of cakes or snacks, whatever, like eat. Eat and eat a healthy meal, like don't drink so much because taking a lot of alcohol won't help you much. But just, you know, it will help you maybe a few minutes when you won't be sober. But I think you just have to be sober with yourself. Eat, you know, relax, take a lot of water, work out, focus more in your dreams. If you are studying, study even harder. If, you know... Just get to concentrate and tell yourself you have a future to live. Yeah, so I strongly agree with you, John Trail Ward. Yeah, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Albanosha is saying drink too much after uh, drinking too much after breakup is very bad. And it's better to stay sober and think about what went wrong and start thinking about the future. Yeah, I, I really and strongly agree with you, Albanosha. Like this is, you know, what you should do stay sober get to reflect what really happened you know and why did it happen you know get to recollect yourself get to take situations the way they are you know and it will really really work out because you'll get to make new decisions when you are sober so it's better you stay sober rather than drinking make good decisions let life move on you know it will be really a good feeling eat eat even more grow even grow even bigger and also remember to work out like you know be a better person you know actually in life the goal of living every day the goal of having a, having a chance to live each and every day is to at least make ourselves better from the person who you were yesterday so likewise in this make yourself even better make yourself more beautiful care to yourself even more you know dress so well take a lot of water go work out like be that person even when he or she meets you you'll be like oh my god i really you know left somebody very important don't tell what is saying i smoked i smoked a little bit more 
win when I break up lol for real for real <laughs> don't shall what we are all saying like try to be more positive positive and also don't do a disservice to yourself in the name of a breakup because this person no longer cares he or she is no longer in your life so just concentrate on the more positive things like don't smoke a lot of weed you know do a lot of you know good service to yourself rather than doing a lot of disservice like drinking taking a lot of weed you know sleeping without eating crying too much having ulcers and complications to yourself getting to make your emotions not stable like it's not always a good thing like just be you know be 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 sober make good decisions get to know what really happened like stay strong tell yourself after all you have a life to live concentrate on more positive things that will really really contribute to yourself in a better way so don't smoke weed don't hate yourself don't curse yourself yeah always be positive i'm um, chacha is saying hello d how are you i'm good chacha kindly consider smashing the like button before anything else just give the video a like and let me get to know what you think about you know heartbreak issues and heartbreaks for me this is what i perceive them they really you know they have different levels like when you're really not committed to a person what when you're not giving too much the heartbreak won't be very intense so always let us get to know our place in people's lives like when you're dating get to know this person he deserves this he doesn't deserve this so that when things don't work out because you cannot always predict that it will end up so well just be yourself don't give too much that will make you regret later just be you you know and if it's not working don't force like that is key in every relationship even in a normal friendship relationship if something is not working just leave it you know just be you don't force things to work out because the person who tends to force tends to be the person who feels it even more you know so just be you mm -hmm. albanacha is saying they sometimes say that it's better to start a new relationship and this will help forget the breakup what do you think okay for me i think okay it's not always a good thing that uh, you've broken up today and tomorrow you are in a new relationship like for me i don't think if uh, that's the way to go but some people some people always have a backup like maybe as a girl or as a lady not a girl as a lady you have those men who are really eyeing on you and while dating this person you you not you tend not to give them attention so some people will be like yo we now broke up i want to let a new person in, in like immediately you know even before that breakup is even there so it will really really depend but for me this is what i think like one step at a time after a breakup give yourself some time to heal it should not be a very 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 long time but again if you feel you don't want to be in another relationship well i'm fine but i feel after breaking up give yourself some time a little bit you know get to get to heal get to make new decisions and resolutions take your time because i always believe good things take time so take your time yeah take your time finding that at least better person in your life yeah so don't really rush because you might rush because of anger you want the other person to feel he or she is not even worth so you've already moved on you have another person and at times you can just be hurrying and that is not the right person and you even know it but you want to make the other person to feel it so don't even don't even rush just take your time mhm mm is saying well being around friends and family really helps when you just broke up in a relationship but for me being around my family it will just make me you know you know it will make them realize i'm not okay with everything you know most of my mother she'll she'll easily notice everything is not good with me because at times with emotions you cannot really fake you know when you are upset you just are upset like for me i know how to fake when i'm feeling bad i'm feeling bad i can't pretend to be smiling when i'm not okay like you know that's not even possible to me but being around friends and also getting to share with people like take 
like tell that one friend that you really kind of trust like tell her or tell him i'm no longer in that relationship and this is what happened hey, BCD, let him listen or let her listen she'll get to give you at least you'll have to pick one positive thing from him or her how why chacha is say, chacha is say is ask you why do ladies cheat i was once cheated sorry sorry if it happened to you i'm really sorry about it but anyway it's not only ladies that cheat you know both parties cheat you know and for me i strongly feel men tend to cheat even more because ladies for me i believe ladies when we love we truly and strongly love you know and for us to make that decision of stepping out of a relationship at times it's because you you really you know you are now at the wall like you've done all you can to save it but you just feel it cannot work so i cannot say it's only ladies who cheat and i'm not trying to be on the ladies side because i'm one but what what part is cheat even men cheat on ladies and for me i even feel it's men who cheat even more you know but all in all this is the thing both parties can cheat you know if one is not faithful you know he can do whatever he wants to do and you know if cheating runs in somebody's blood you cannot stop him because some people just find fun in cheating having several ladies or men you know some people just find it fun so it just depends but the good thing to do just try to as a man just try to, for me i strongly believe if a man provides for the lady like enough it, it doesn't have to be necessarily enough but if you are there for her like at least you play your role as a man it's not very very easy for a lady to to cheat like get to appreciate her do those small things that really matter in a lady which we talked about in our previous live stream like we said things to do with flowers chocolate a little bit of snacks really matter in a lady's life so if you do such things like you know she will not be having any reason to smile like treat your lady as a queen so that even if somebody wants to to take her from you she will not find any reason to go you know but if you just treat her as a normal person somebody else will come and treat your your girlfriend as a queen and she'll be no longer there with you like who doesn't want that better life so just be there for your girl provide the necessary things be there for her just love her appreciate her and above all put her in god's hand and i believe she will not cheat like just be there like for me i do believe most ladies ladies who cheat it's because they lack attention from the boyfriend like he doesn't even care about you you know he even doesn't ask you if you've eaten or you've, you know you are okay but somebody else can really ask is really concerned like yeah who who will not like to be such kind of a person so chances of you leaving a boyfriend are really really high he, if he doesn't care you know so chacha what you need to do is treat your lady as a queen so that she doesn't find any reason or excuse to leave you for another man yeah because when a lady loves she truly loves and when you treat her as a queen she won't find any reason to go like you know you provide everything for her that she needs you make her comfortable you make her feel appreciated like what else you know yeah so guys thank you so so much for coming it's now time because we always do a live stream like 1 hour 30 minutes i always feel like it's way better so guys i really really appreciate thank you for always coming to support me i really appreciate if it's your first time here consider subscribing and tap on the notification button yeah and join the best family on youtube and every day at 8 p.m is african time we usually have this live stream so feel free yeah during this pandemic let's make this moment cherishable like at least let's get to share let's get to know one another and everything will be all right so guys thank you so so much you really mean a lot to me you cannot even understand but that is it i really really appreciate thank you guys see you tomorrow on tomorrow's live stream probably i hope things will be okay like there'll be power everything will be there so let's meet tomorrow and you can also drop a comment let me get to know some of the topics that you feel you want us to talk about in tomorrow's live stream so guys thank you so 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 much i appreciate 
bye see you tomorrow thank you so much guys i love you bye ciao 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 means bye bye like it's yeah it's spanish to mean bye ciao 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 bye bye thank you guys